Maybe you're suffering from one or more of these. Well, let's find out. The first common problem I see is that the arms are not coming up high out of the water. So you notice that their arms are like in front of like they're kind of dragging their arms along as they go. This is going against the water, which is not good. To eliminate that, one simple trick you can do is to expose your armpit. That's right, get a whiff of this. Positioning of the head. When you come up for air, you want to be about as horizontal as possible or streamlined, like so. So, if you want to learn more about seagull breasts or side breathing, you can take a look at this video over here that I made. So, basically, when most people come up for air, their, their head is almost like a 45 degree angle, like so. And as you can see, this is not very optimal. Because when your head becomes like this, the rest of your body goes like this. And you don't really want to look like this when you're coming out of the water. You want to be like this, alright? You want to be just like a boat. So how do we alleviate this? I want you to imagine that your head is ramming something like a bowl and you're ramming something to the side. So every time you come up for air, I want you to push your head as if you're headbutting something. So instead of coming up like this, you come up like this. Ram something imaginary, okay? The wall, your friend, your ex-wife, I don't care. Just ram something as you come up. Your head and your body will follow along accordingly. The third most common problem that I see in front call is the distribution of energy. Most people get really tired really fast when they're doing their front call. And there's one simple reason for that. It's because that when they do their front call, their kicking and their arms are 50-50. Front call is not 50% arms or 50% legs, okay? It's not that ratio. Front call is more like 70% arms and 30% legs. So you want to think of your arm as doing most of the work Call, and your legs are just there to support you, right? They're like the supporting actor of a movie, and your arms are the main actor of the superstar. Keep that in mind. Don't put a lot of effort when it comes to kicking when you're doing front call. All of your energy mostly comes from your arms. So focus your energy on your arms. The fourth most common problem I see in front call is timing. So some people come up for breath sporadically, like uh, once every two breaths, every three breaths, every, every four breaths. They're, they're not really coming up with a pattern. So when you're doing your front call, it's consistent. So what I mean by that is you have to have a set pattern every time you come up for breath. And usually that set pattern is one, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, breathe on the side. One, two, three, breathe on the side. You want to lock down a pattern when you do front call. You don't want to keep changing your pattern. You don't want to keep changing your breathing. Don't fool your body, okay? Keep it consistent. Usually I use three, okay? If you want to do four or five, you know, test your limit, but usually the standard is three breaths. And the fifth and final common problem that I see in front call is the follow through when it comes to the arms. So most people, they, they finish up to here, which is about 50% of their potential. Imagine you finish here, whereas you finish here. It's just like, you know, shooting basketball, right? You can shoot a basketball like this, or you can shoot a basketball like this, right? With the follow through. So when you're doing front call, you want to take advantage of that momentum, that follow through. Right? You want to finish here, okay? So when you finish here, you want to extend your pinky up, just like you're passing the baton to the person uh, behind you as you're doing the relay. All through, pass the baton behind you, right? All through, pass the baton behind you. Pinky always comes up, right? Pinky comes up, armpit up, and back in. Pinky up, pass the baton, armpits up, and back into the water. One, two, three, four. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video, please click that like button down below. That would be much appreciated. If you're a beginner swimmer and you want to learn how to swim, uh, please visit my website, 7dayswim.com, and download your free ebook, which will get you started. Plus, you'll also get a 7-day video mini course where I walk you step-by-step -step through a video presentation on how to get started swimming if you are a total beginner. Absolutely free. Do it now.